Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate Holy Thursday, which is also called Mondi Thursday. That word, Mondi, is a Latin word which is derived from the word mandatum. And that Latin word means commandment. So on this day, we celebrate the commandment that Jesus gave. Taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 33 through 35, when he says, Where I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you, I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. That is the most important commandment that we have received, that we must follow. Jesus is telling us why he came. We know that on Holy Thursday, we always remember and celebrate the Last Supper of Jesus. And as we think about the Last Supper and we look back to what that must have been, we realize it's a communal celebration of food and drink with family and friends. It's a great time for communication with loved ones and for bonding. That's the whole point of having a meal together, is to share in that perfect love with one another. As I mentioned in my video yesterday, on Spy Wednesday, Jesus shows us his perfect love. And we see it very clearly at the Last Supper. This is a great example for us to learn about perfect love as we think about this supper. When we all come to church, we enjoy the body and blood together. We talk, we worship together, and that is why our church is here. And what a gift that is. It is an amazing gift that we have the church. As I look back on the many meals that I've enjoyed with family and friends over the years, I think about the key ingredients in that meal, and really what it boils down to is perfect love. On Holy Thursday, we often see the priest washing the feet of people in the church. And the reason that they do this is because Jesus did it himself. We hear in the gospel, Jesus tells Peter, I want to wash your feet. And Peter says, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you want to wash my feet? And Jesus tells him, well, you'll understand later. And that's interesting for us to think about. That really hit me that Peter didn't understand at the time. Jesus really is encouraging his disciples to receive and to show perfect love in order to be good servants. And so we too must be good servants and do good work for God here on earth. The priesthood was established by Jesus as a model, as the chief priest. And since that was instituted, it continues to today. The priesthood is important because it serves as a reminder to the people of who Jesus is, that he truly is the Son of God. And it is a model of perfect love.
when we all come to church, when we're able, there's a diversity of people present. I remember one time someone saying to me, well, only perfect people go to church, and I disagree. We're not perfect. We make mistakes. But Jesus still calls us to come to eat and drink with him. The priest is present to make Jesus present and to communicate with the people in the place of God. And that is what the Last Supper is emphasizing. On Holy Thursday, we also celebrate the institution of the Eucharist, where the bread and the wine become Jesus' body and blood. That is the biggest gift of all for us. Because in the Eucharist, Jesus gives us his perfect love. Jesus knew what he came to do, and he was ready to go back to God. He knew his time had come, and that soon it would be finished. I just today had a few times talk with my father and with my grandfather who's 97 years old and I said my goodbyes to him as he is reaching the hour of his death. It was such a blessing for me to be able to talk with him on FaceTime because it's from the family that we learn this example of perfect love and we see that love reflected in other family members. We know our family members are not perfect so we work together and we continue to strive to show that love of God. And I will admit it was very hard for me to talk with my grandfather today and say that final goodbye as he's at the end of his life. But I look back and I appreciate all the times that I had all these great moments with my grandfather and with my grandmother when she was still alive all the great conversations and the great family meals that we shared, those moments of bonding and communication together. Could we imagine what life would be like for us if God had not sent Jesus to live among us and to show us his example of perfect love? I don't think we would know what it even means to have a meal to share that experience together. Another one of the great keys of Holy Thursday is when we hear Jesus' words at the Last Supper when he says, this is my body which will be given up for you. And when he takes the cup, he says, this is the chalice of my blood. It will be shed for you. It's amazing for us to think about the gift of that. It, it gives us salvation. God's love is so critical in our lives. And he wants to be able to share that love with everyone. It is up to us, with open hearts and open minds, to follow him fully and to share that love with others by showing perfect love and being good models for other people, just as Jesus was a model for all of us. And that, in the end, will give us our salvation. That greatest gift. We can recognize Jesus anywhere in the world in his perfect love. In the work of a parent with their child, who forgives their wrongdoing and teaches them the right way to go. In those moments, those children appreciate the work of their parents and they can learn about the perfect love of God from their parents. I thank God for this Holy Thursday. Because it is the greatest gift for us to be able to carry on Jesus' perfect love, his legacy of service for all.
and his command to show perfect love. Let us pray. God of infinite compassion, to love you is to be made holy. Fill our hearts with your love. By the death of your son, you have given us hope, born of faith. By his rising again, fulfill this hope in the perfect love of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Love you all.